To plot the order, there, two, one, go right, two, jump up, one, and it's done. To plot the coordinates, seven, ten, go right, seven, up, ten, mark it with your pen. On the x-axis, count to the right. On the y-axis, count from the ground. That's how a coordinates point is found. To plot the ordered pair, three. Five, go right, three, up, five, to where you arrive To plot the coordinates, ten, seven Go right, ten, up, seven, we did it again On the x-axis, count to the right On the y-axis, count from the ground That's how a coordinate point is found Plot the coordinates nine four upright nine up four. Now one more with the ordered pair zero four. Remain at the origin. Come four from the floor. On the x axis, count to the right. On the y axis, count from the ground. That's how a coordinate point is found. The coordinates are kinda like glue Telling you where to plot the X and Y values And when you see them on a questionnaire They can be called coordinates or an ordered pair We plot X first then Y, that's the order Always starting from the bottom left hand corner That's the place that we begin At zero zero call the origin Or the X axis Count to the right On the Y axis Count from the ground That's how a coordinate point is found Geographical Directions People live at different places in India. Some places are in the north while some others are in the south. Some places are located on the east and some others are on the west. Kashmir, the paradise of earth, is located in the north. Rajasthan, the land of desert, is located in the west. Assam, known for its tea and wildlife, is located in the east. Kerala, famous for its spices and backwaters, is in the south. The sun always rises in the east and sets in the west. Locating Directions Compass is a device that we use to find directions. A compass has a needle that rotates to indicate direction. The head of needle always points towards north and the tail towards south. Sailors and pilots use a compass to know the directions in which they are moving. Left and right directions In addition to north, south, west and east, we also use left and right directions to locate a place. We use our hands to indicate the left and right directions. The hand that makes the letter L when the index finger and thumb are stressed out is our left hand and the other one is our right hand. The places towards our right hand are said to be on the right and those towards our left hand are said to be on the left. The tiny robots. So, location is where something is. Location! For example, somebody told me there is a monster in this video. Oh, monster! But I can't find it and I might need help locating it. Oh, monster! Wh where is the monster? What's that? Oh, really? The monster is behind me! Behind you! Hey, I know! Is there anything behind you? Why don't you look behind you, pick one thing, and tell me what it is? Okay, you can come on out, monster. Now, where is the monster? That's right, the monster is beside me. You could also say 
The monster is to the right of me. To the right of you. Hey, I know. Is there anything besides you on the right side? Why don't you look to the right, pick one thing, and tell me what it is. Oh, oh now where is the monster go? Oh, hey, monster. Monster, I can't see anything. Monster! Where is the monster now? Yes, the monster is in front of me. In front of you! Can you please move, monster? I am trying to teach here. Okay, thank you. Okay, now where is the monster? Again, the monster is beside me. You can also say the monster is to the left of me. To the left of you! Hey, I know. Is there anything beside you on the left side? Why don't you look to the left, pick one thing, and tell me what it is? Hey, monster, what are you do? Oh, look, the monster is upside down. It's still the same monster, though. Okay, upside down monster, where are you go? Oh, look, now where is the monster? The monster is on top of me. Or we can also say, the monster is above me. Above you! Oh, good, you are right side up again. And now, where is the monster? Yes, the monster is under me. Or we can also say, the monster is below me. Below you! Okay, and now, the monster is above me. Oh, and now the monster is below me. And now it is above. And now it is below, above, below, above, below, oh! And now the monster is tired. It's okay, monster, you can take a break now. And speaking of breaks, let's all take a break under the stars. Oh, so beautiful. Okay, that's enough. So you see, all of these words like beside, above, below, and to the left of, and to the right of, these are all great words to say where something is. You know, location. Location. Okay, now let's play a game. This is a game about location and directions. Directions. Directions are ways to go. And when we give directions, we tell someone with our voice which way to go. So first, we need something to give directions to. Hmm. Oh, oh, I know. How about Tiny Robot? Ha! Hi, Tiny Robot. So, Tiny Robot will start here on this map of squares. And the Tiny Robot is hungry. Luckily, there is a plate of spaghetti here. We need to tell Tiny Robot how to get to the plate of spaghetti using these four different directions. Up, down, left, and the right. And we need to tell Tiny Robot the distance or how far to go using the number of squares. Okay, now, which direction should Tiny Robot go? And maybe we could do the first one together. I think Tiny Robot should go up three squares. One, two, three. Yay! Good job, Tiny Robot. Now let's play again. Tiny Robot is still hungry and wants another plate of spaghetti. But this time, Tiny Robot has to watch out for monsters and cannot go on the squares with the monsters. So, what way should Tiny Robot go first? Yeah, I think Tiny Robot should go up. But how many squares? Yes, one square. So now, what direction and how many squares should Tiny Robot go? What's that? Okay, Tiny Robot, go right two squares. One, two. Yay, good job, Tiny Robot! Okay, let's play one last time. And Tiny Robot is still hungry for spaghetti. Wow! This time, it is going to be more difficult 
because a tiny robot has to watch out for monsters, volcanoes, and stinky socks. Oh, so stinky. Now, I need you to tell tiny robot where to go. Remember to say the direction and also how many squares. Okay, go. First, tiny robot should go which direction? Up! And how many squares? One square. Now, tiny robot should go which direction? Left! And how many squares? One square. And now, the tiny robot should go which direction? Up. And how many squares? One, two squares. And now, tiny robot should go which direction? Right. How many squares? One, two, three squares. Good job, tiny robot. Good job, everybody. Oh, I'm so happy you did not touch the stinky socks. So stinky. These are the traditional game stations. Marbles is at column D, row 4. The location for marbles is D4. This is the spinning top station. It is at column E, row 5. The location of the spinning top station is E5. This is the Balintin Station. Balintin Station is at column B, row 2. The location of the Balintin Station is B2. This is the Tating Lawi Ayam Station. Tating Lawi Ayam Station is at column A, row 1. The location of the Tating Lawi Ayam is at A1. Find the locations of the Hopscotch, Chongka and Batu Seremban Station. Write the location of each block in the grid. We can see in the grid there are different coloured blocks in different positions. The first block we need to find is the blue block. The blue block is here. To find its position, we can look down to see that it is in column B, and we can look across to see that it is in row 3. So the blue block is in position B3. Next, we need to find the green block. The green block is here. Moving down, we see that the green block is in column D, and moving across, we see the green block is in row 2. So the green block is in position D2. Next is the orange block. We can see that the orange block is in column C and row 4. So the orange block is in position C4. Next, the red block. The red block is in column D and row 3. The red block is in position D3. Finally, the yellow block. The yellow block is in column A and row 1. So the yellow block is in position A1. Name the fruit at each location. This time, we are given grid locations. We have to use these locations to find fruits inside the grid. The first grid location is C6. So the fruit we are looking for is in the grid square where column C meets row 6. We can draw a line up column C and across row 6. We can see that they cross at the lemon. So a lemon is located at C6. The next grid location is H6. Looking up column H and across column 6 we can see that they meet at the apple. So an apple is at H6. 
The next grid position is D8. Looking up column D and across row 8, we find an orange. So an orange is at D8. And finally E4. The grid square at column E and row 4 is a strawberry. So a strawberry is at E4. Colour the grid squares. Try and point to the square before I colour it. The first square will be in position G2. Can you point to G2? First I find column G, then row 2, and colour it green. Next is square A1. Can you point to A1? Column A, row 1, and colour it blue. Next is square H8. Can you point to H8? H8 is in column H, row 8, and I colour it yellow. Finally, C4 red. Can you point to C4? Column C, row 4, red. Did you point to the correct squares? Take a look at grid coordinates. Example. We have a grid there, we're going to label the axes, the, the bottom axes and the side axes. So from the bottom, A, B, C, D and E. And on the side from the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have a dog there, and a frog, a pig, a bull, and a chick. And we're asked to write the coordinates of the following creatures. Part A, the dog. Okay, let's see where the dog is. There he is. Now we're going to see what it matches up with. You can see that it's in line with the C. It's in the C column and in the row that's 4. So C and 4, we write C4. What about the chick? Okay, there's the chick there. Which column is it in? Well, it's in the D column, and it's in the row of number 2. So D and 2. We're going to write D2. What about the bull? Well, there's the bull. It's in the E column, and it's in the first row, row 1. E and 1. So we write E1. Now, what about the pig there? Can you spot the pig? There he is. He's in the B column. He's in row 3, B and 3. What are we going to write? Did you say B3? Very good. The frog. There he is. A column. Row 5, A and 5. We write A5. Assalamualaikum and a very good morning. Today we are going to learn a new topic. Okay, location, recognize location. Okay, we are going to do together homework activity book page 139 and page 140. Okay, we look the first one is activity 1. Location of pupils in a media room is shown in the picture. Fill in the answers. Okay, this is the media room. This is teacher's table. 
This is the names of pupils Udin, Nia, Vin, Ben, Niza, Ikin, Divya, Lim, Niven, Fong, Hamid and Wong. So we are going to answer question A, B, C, D. Okay, the first one, Divya. Divya sees what chairs to the right and what chairs to the front of the teacher's table. Okay, this is teacher's table. So we are going to find the location of Divya. Okay, this is Divya. Okay, this is Divya. So, Divya sits what numbers of chairs to the right? So, we are going to count. 1, 2, 3. This is the right. Okay, this is the right side. So, 1, 2, 3. So, we write down numbers here. 3. Three chairs to the right. One, two, three. And what number of chairs to the front of the teacher's table? This is teacher's table. So how many chairs? One, two. One, two. So two chairs. Okay, clear? Divya sits three chairs to the right. One, two, three. So number is three. And two chairs to the front of the teacher's table. One, two, two. Question B. Wong sits what number of chairs to the east? And what number of chairs to the north from the teacher's table? So this is east side. So we are going to find where is Wong. Okay, this is Wong. So, how many chairs to the east? One, two, three, four. Four chairs. So, we write down answer here. Four. Four chairs to the east. One, two, three, four. And what number of chairs to the north from the teacher's table? So, one, two, three. Three chairs. Okay. North, South, East, West. So, this is East. This is the North. Okay, North is 3. 3 chairs to the North from the teacher's table. C. Fong's location is 2 chairs. Where is Fong location? Okay, this is Fong location. Okay, this is Fong location is 2 chairs. 1, 2. Two chairs to the right. Okay. Use the word to the right. Two chairs to the right. This is the right side. Okay. Right. Right, this one is the left side. So, two chairs to the right and three chairs, what, from the teacher's table. Okay, we look the location of four. One, two, three. Three chairs to the front. Two, three chairs to the front. So, we write down here. Three chairs to the front from the teacher's table. Question D. What is at column 1? This is column 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, remember this is column 1, 2, 3, 4. So, column 1. Column 1, this side. Row 3. Row 3 is 1, 
to 3. So, niven. Answer is ni niven. Okay, niven is at column 1, row 3. 1, 2, 3 from the teacher's table. Okay, now look at page 140. Activity 2. Location of toys on a rack is shown in the picture. Okay, this is the location of toys filled in the blanks. Okay, down here we have Play Doh, costume, jewelry, rocket, aeroplane, cooking set, teddy bear, fire engine, and robot. Okay, this is a, B, C, D is horizontal axis. 1, 2, 3 is vertical axis. Okay. This one is horizontal. 1, 2, 3 is vertical. So, we write down here. Letters A to D. A, B, C, D is horizontal. Hori, H O R I Z O N T A L. Okay, horizontal, melintang. Horizontal exists. This is horizontal. So numbers one, two, three are located on the. Okay, this is vertical, menegak vertical. So we write down here, vertical. V-E-R-T-I-C-A-L Vertical axis Okay 1, 2, 3 is vertical A to D is horizontal Okay, question C What are the toys in the given locations? Okay, you are going to write down the name of toys in the given locations Teacher give you one example. Location B1. B is for column. 1 is for row. So, B1. B1 is play dough. So, you write down here. Play dough. Okay, then you find the other answer. A2. A is for column A. 2 is for row. So, you write down answer, rocket. Okay, clear? Fill in the, fill in the answers. Okay, fill in the blanks. 